Was that was that on my end or your end that it was glitchy? Hey, hey, hey. I don't like you calling me names, okay? All right? Don't Listen, call me no not, glitchy. Don't call me glitchy, not, okay? It's not my opinion. I'm very just, itchy, so don't call me glitchy, okay? It's not my opinion. I just repeat what other people say about you. Oh, uh, yeah. don't let me start repeating what they say about you, bro. You know, you look like Santa Claus with the gray hair and the glasses, you know. Look, don't be here this week. You like hot chocolate like everybody else. Anyway, this is Focus on You and Phil and Oscar. And, of course, Oscar is picking on me today because he's jealous of my hair, you know. So uh, no personal matters here on Focus on You. (laughs) Remember, some turns gray, some turns loose. Some just turn. Can Maggie's you, like, why did I have to be on today? Can you dig it? Can you dig Man, why you reveal our guest like like that? You know, everybody should be anticipating, like waiting. You Listen, know, like, everybody everybody already knows interested. that Maggie's gonna be on. That's why that's why they're tuning in. It's oh, not right. a Maggie, Maggie. We got Maggie Carey, y'all. Hello. That's right. We had to wait a whole year to get Maggie on this program. So don't mess it up, Oscar. Don't All right. mess it up. The jury shall disavow the last statement. Okay. Now, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna do one more one thing before we jump on in to Maggie. And what she does, man, listen, if you have a business and or you just trying to get your name out there and you just don't know who to talk to, we have that guest on today. So tune in. You'll be watching on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are watching this program right now. Stop whatever you're doing and tune in because we have one of our favorite. Yes. Slash. Best guest on the Focus on You planet. Here I am. You know, it's not all about you, Oscar. Yes. What's what's the show called? It's called Focus on You. But let's talk about our website, thepnnstationplus.com. Thepnnstationplus.com shows you everything about what the Phoenix national network is about and we'll be able to tune in to some of our programming uh of course you see richard cuzio amanda tolvi and whitney cobran and so much more we've got so, so many great professionals on here to help you whatever area of business you are in so feel free to go and visit pnn station plus.com to get more information about who we are and what we do. Now, if you don't if you don't find us on anywhere else, check out Roku and Amazon Fire TV. If you have those streaming platforms, we have our own channel on those platforms that you can actually catch our programs, a little bit of uh, this, a little bit of that, and some movies as well. So check it out. What do you think, Oscar? Did I do good? I love it. I love uh, it. I, 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 again, you know, for those who don't know that we've been together, what, about three years now and watch it grow from this, this little tiny seed. And all of a sudden it's got branches, it's got roots. It's, it's, it's big and over the garden. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's because we know people like Maggie Carey, baby, you know, that was, you know, you took the words out of my mouth and that, that's unsanitary, but I'll let you do it this time. Uh, <laughs> I don't want the words coming out of your mouth. Please don't share me. Coming out of your mouth. Could be worse. We could have Ricky. <laughs> oh, that would be great. That would be great. All right. So we are ready for our wonderful guest, none other than Miss Maggie Carey. Maggie. Hi, welcome guys. To, welcome Hello, to the Maggie. Focus on You Madhouse. <laughs> oh, man. It's never a dull moment with you two. <laughs> not really, because we drink our coffee twice. And we don't sleep, <laughs> except now I, I just heard through the grapevine that you're going to help Dr. Phil sleep better at night with a little tip you gave him a couple of hours ago, which we might share with the audience if they behave. Oh, and I got to tell you, hours and hours and hours of your time 
And I'll tell you something else. You will also end up um, doing things that you wouldn't do because you don't have the time to do it. Right on. It's a little, little teaser there for what we're going to do today. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to do something fun. Whenever you have these moments, take pictures, smile. You know, you put yourself out there on social media all the time. And when you're doing something fun like this, you need to take pictures. I agree 1000%. Yes. I mean, come on. Pictures were meant for you to remember things. Pictures are a thousand words, a video is a million words. So we can get both of them out there. The picture will lead to the video. I'm sorry. So Maggie. Are you guys getting, are you guys getting some lag or is it on my end? Um, I was getting lag before. Now, now I'm, I'm catching up. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting any lag right here. All right. As long yeah. as I'm coming across okay, and it's not, you know, it's not on my end, I'm okay. As long as Phil pays a cable bill, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> cable? I haven't had cable in years. What are you talking about? Come on, it's right by the the VHS player. <laughs> Absolutely. Maggie, listen, we want to hear something about you because this show is called Focus on You and we're focusing on you right now. So tell the folks just a little bit about yourself and what you do. So I'd love to. Thanks, Phil. Um, so I started my professional journey in as a, as a computer programmer. Um, I decided um, accounting wasn't my thing. So when you were good in math, you either went into accounting or you went into technology, which was a, a breaking, a new and breaking thing. This is talking about, you want to talk about your VCR. I had a computer with a cassette tape and that's what you used, right? Um, fast forward, I've had multiple jobs, multiple um, businesses, and I absolutely love having um using technology and what i i'm struggling with is the same thing that everybody out there is struggling with how do you promote your business effectively and a lot of times it's technology based right we're we've got to create content we've got to create video we've got to create audio we've got to create an online presence with a website and Look, I struggled with it, even with my tech background. So I can't even imagine what it's like for a business who doesn't have that skill set um, to back them up. Um, a lot of what I did, I went to college, met my husband in college, did my whole, you know, corporate America thing. Um, I decided I was, wanted to raise my three children. I wanted to see them instead of dropping them off at daycare. And I had the ability to do that, which was fortunate. Um, I worked a business at home. And that really did uh, start my entrepreneurial journey about 22 years ago. Um, I had a business where I was helping people, it's a, a trend that I have just a need to help people. It's like an incessant need to help. And um, then I went through, um, you know, we met, like we met through a networking organization. And when I started realizing I was, wasn't doing the thing that I loved to do the most. And I blended in my theatrical background with my, my love of entertaining, along with my tech background. And I kind of said, you know what? The best fit for this is social media. Um, and dove head first <laughs> into learning the best ways to promote yourself online with social media. Um, and of course I pull in my other stuff as well, but I've got to tell you, it's, it's so fulfilling. I wake up every morning um, knowing that there's somebody that I'm helping and it's such, it's so fulfilling and, um, it, and, I know I'm doing the right thing. It's just taken me, you know, 35 plus years to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. You know, isn't it, isn't it funny how you go through this period of this like discovery, uh, just to find that, that thing that feel like a glove, you know, right. when did you know, like you tap into the right field for you? So I would say around, when we were all in lockdown in 2020, 
I, re you know, it really became the forefront. If a business wanted to promote themselves, they had to do it online because nobody was going out. So it, I think that was when I had this, wow, there's power here that we're not tapping into. Um, so that I'd say that was around the time frame where I, I would say it really kicked in. And um, when I started getting calls from people and doing, you know, doing strategy session calls with business owners and them saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. You know, it's taking me so much time. It's costing me so much money. Um, you know, and then when I gave them tips and tricks on how to do things easier, it was like, oh my gosh, you're saving me time. You're saving me money. You're sa like, like when you start hearing that, you're like, thank God I'm on the right path, right? Because that's one of the big things that I, I call it shining the spotlight on business owners because they, they do what they do really well. And people feel like, oh, I've got to be, I, I've got to be on social media. I do it personally. So I have to do it for my business. And look, business owners spend six to eight hours a week promoting their business. They could, that's a day, mm -hmm. that's a day a week. Mm -hmm. And they should be doing other things that are much more important. Um, and that's my goal. My goal is to help them get their content done faster, whether they hire me to do it for them, we have that service, or whether I teach them how to do it, or whether I help them do it. Um, and they can work with me and I help them. And that's when I sit back and I do speaking engagements and somebody says, oh my gosh, like we had that call today, Phil, and I shared that, you know, which we're not saying what it is. And I share that little tool that's gonna save you, you know, I mean, Look, Elon Musk's team is using this tool to help them do his. Well, listen, so. if it's there, we got to use it. But we're not going to tell you what it is yet because it Ooh. is just it right now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not spilling the beans. And if you are a business owner and you know you're spending that much time and losing sleep and always, you know, it's. It's a time saver. It's a money saver. It's a marriage saver because it's like, hey, we can actually have dinner together now. <laughs> yeah. You know, slide a dish under the door type of thing that's been going on. Yeah, I got to I've got to tell you, you know, when I had um, I had one of those moments where I, you know, you have an epiphany and um, it was the day before Thanksgiving um, in 2019. And I was sitting in my office. Um, at the time, I had an, an office outside of the house, and I was working on my Black Friday specials and my Cyber Monday things. Guys, I was way behind the eight ball, um, but I had other, you know, I had other things I had to do. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this time. It, my whole family was home. They were, uh, you know, preparing for Thanksgiving the next day. My kids were home from college, and what was I doing? I was working in my office at night. I'm seeing all the cars go by and. And here I am, like the whole reason I started a business was to provide for my family and to spend more time with them. And then look what happened, right? And I said to myself, I was like, wow, this was not the best thing for me to be doing. And I needed to find, I know tech, there has to be a better way to create content, to yes. post content, to get it out there. And look, I have changed my posting tool I'd say three or four times in the, I did it organically. And then I went through three other iterations before I landed on the one I landed on. And I loved it so much that I've modified it a bit and I turned it into painless posting. So now other people can do what I'm doing mm -hmm. and save their time because they don't have the tech knowledge, right? Like I have years of experience in tech. I know how to research software. I know how to talk to the tech people behind the scenes and get answers. Um, it's, it's a different language. It, and I think that's where my theatrical background comes into play, right? I know how to communicate with people and know how to find the, like we were talking about, like Oscar made this really funny face in the, in a meeting. In meeting. And I'm like, yeah. I know what you're thinking <laughs> because like, what this is you how talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I think he started to twitch. It was like, like Rumpelstiltskin, I've been I've been asleep. I'm like, wait, I just woke up in this new. 
Yeah, new. I got, and I got this feeling like I'm dragging, I'm dragging a flat cart full of wheels inside of it. You know, it's like ah, I got it, I got it. It's and like, think, think about this, guys. When you're running a business, and um, you know, in my industry, like three years in social media is like twenty in any other field right? Because things are changing, new platforms are coming, people are buying platforms. You, at, at, like, look what happened in November of last year. Um, chat GPT exploded on the scene. And it totally changed the trajectory of one of my businesses, right? I had to adapt. And, and like, Painless Posting has a built in AI, right? Why? Because it helps and it's something that people are looking for. We have to answer the call to what our people not only are asking for, but what they need. Um, so it's a, it's a, oof. You talk about instant, instant change. My wife is, a, is an English teacher and chat GPT came in and all of a sudden these kids are coming out with these fantastic papers. You know, they couldn't get three words together <laughs> and spell correctly and now they're you know, they're, they're writing warnings. Now they're geniuses. Wait, wait, wait a second. You, my, my children went, one of them went apoplectic one day, their phone battery died and they didn't have a charger. And, and. That's how and, you punish kids. You take away the chargers. But, but, uh, d d right. Like you can keep your phone, but I'm going to have your charger. Right. <laughs> like that is the way to go. But it was so funny. We we're so, and look, if my phone died, I'd probably be in the same boat like wait i'm so used to having the world in my right hand mm -hmm. yeah I've, i've found myself holding my phone like 24 7 now i'll be walking on the street and my phone is in my hand because i want to be looking i want to look something up like in the last minute i don't want to be searching for my phone i want to have it in hand and uh you know kind of going through that but i want to go to the next phase because uh, I want to show folks what we're talking about here. Okay, this is <clears throat> masteritmedia.com, which is owned by Maggie Carey. And it is a beautiful website, which I'm assuming that she built herself. I did. Right? And I look at all of this and I'm going, oh my goodness, tell us a little bit more about this so um yeah part when i started master at media it was sort of like a fractional like i was a fractional cto or a cio where i'd come in and i'd help businesses with their online presence uh marketing pr <clears throat> what um and i still will do websites every once in a while if it's part of a marketing strategy that i'm building with a client but i will tell you this this site i'm a i'm a reseller for godaddy this is a again, inexpensive way to set up. I have an amazing team of people behind me, some of which are my family. Um, and when we create websites for people, it's to help them get the word out, get the SEO and all of that. When we focused in on social media as a company, um, we really are trying to, you know, you have to make sure you're blending both worlds, right? Your social should be pointing to your website. Your website should be pointing to your social. You should have strong call to actions. You've got to have a solid uh, Google business presence. Um, these are things that ha businesses have to be omnipresent. Otherwise, they are going to lose uh, potential clients. And you'll see like up on the top, I have links to my socials on the bottom i have links to my socials i have a toolkit i have uh places where people can go to get information we have my showtime which shows you all of the speaking engagements i have coming up um we have um you know classes that i'm teaching i have things like i'm a featured speaker with the new york public library i love working with them um we also have a blog page, right? These are things that I tell my clients to do. Take a blog post, then break it up and make multiple posts out of that one blog post. Don't reinvent the wheel, right? Um, so there's a lot of content on my website. Um, so I like to make sure that people have the resources they need. They need that toolkit is one of my favorite. It's tools that I use. Look, it has affiliate links, and I strongly suggest businesses do this. If you have tools that you use and you love, 
sign up for an affiliate program and get, um, a, a, we could be a small referral fee, <clears throat> but take advantage of them. Promote the products that have helped you grow because other businesses need your help as well. I see your next program that's coming up on LinkedIn is on the 29th yes. of November, right? right? Yeah, I have three back uh, to back with them. Um, you're going to love this one, Phil, because this, I'm showing secret, I, I shouldn't call them secret, lesser known features of LinkedIn that will up your LinkedIn game significantly. And I had to break it up into two classes because there was so much information um, that I couldn't put it in one. Now, for the people that are, that are saying there is so much stuff, there's so much, I don't think, I don't, I don't even know where to start. Hmm. So look at a, a solopreneur getting started, needs to get off the ground, but doesn't know where to start. They call Maggie and Maggie says, so Maggie first asks about their business. What do they do um, and get to know them? Why do they do it? Because that I can't do anything unless I know that. The next step is finding out what are they currently doing? What are they doing with their business now uh, promotionally? Um, how are they reaching their clients? Who are their ideal clients? And then I help them figure out where they sit if they don't know. So we'll determine everything from, you know, are, are your profiles optimized? Are your, um, are your, uh, your, you know, social media accounts really robust? Do you have content? If they don't, then we figure out what is their next call to action. A lot of times I have to say depends on time and money. So how much time do you have? What is your budget? And then we fit them into one of our three, um, Pro programs that we have. We would do either one-to-one -one strategy sessions, we would do our painless posting, which includes group coaching, or we would do your done-for-you services where we do everything for them. Um, and what you're looking at now is painless posting. It's the tool that I use for my clients um, to help them grow their businesses. Um, it allows me to create content um, for as for multiple platforms as easily as I would for one. So yeah, tell us a little bit more, like if you can go in a little bit in depth on this. On painless posting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Without giving so, away the secret. I'm not going to give away the secret. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is different. But um, if, if I can actually show you what it looks like if um, I figure out how to share the, the screen on Restream. <laughs> I think it's that. The middle button is like the middle button right beside the camera. You should be able to. I have to stop sharing though. Let me stop sharing. Okay. So that you could do that. So this is what. Um, tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. This is something with a graph. There you go. So this is painless posting. This is a posting tool. It has three major features. One of which, which is um, our create sections where you create your content. If I go into my content library, you're actually going to see, uh, you know, all of the posts that I've created for this account. Um, and then I have a publish section, which shows you where, what my calendar looks like and what's scheduled to post. As you can see, I still need to do my homework over the weekend. I have posts that I need to schedule out for the month. And then it has um, an analytic section that'll go through and analyze all my accounts and what how they're performing. Because you really need to know what resonates with your audience so you can create more content like that. The content library is where you're creating content. Now, the cool thing about this and that I love, it pulls in all my favorite tools. So when I hit create content, I can add images or upload a video, but I can upload the image from my computer, I can get um, free stock images from Pexels, or I can go right into my Canva app and I can either design something or pull up a design I've already created. So I can easily um, pull up content and have it, um, you know, have it do, let me just see if I can pull up 
I'm watching. I'm watching Phil's face. His smile keeps getting white. His whole top of his head's gonna fall off. Well, when it really gets <laughs> better, you because you can do video. You can do uh, right, but you could. And I always name my posts. Like I could name it the date. I could say, you know, focus on you, and then I can go into and I can create posts or stories, which is you know something new. We we just released this feature in captions i can create my caption here or i can go into caption ai caption ai will allow me to generate captions and i can put in something like write a caption about uh growing a business using social media make it about um six sentences long include tips on um uh posting on LinkedIn. When I put this in now, I'm doing this on the fly guys. So let's hope All it right, works. You got you to redo posting. Okay. It doesn't. And I will tell you, I make typos all the time and it oh, still yeah. knows what I'm talking about. It's <laughs> thanks really? for that. That's great. Um, I, can pick, uh, I can pick a platform, but I want to be omnipresent. So I'm going to do that. I can pick a tone. I like empathetic. Empathetic is, but every once in a while I get into funny or witty. Um, I can also do up to 10 different captions to choose from. I can include hashtags and emojis. It's going to do all the hashtag research. I don't have to. And then once I hit submit, it's going to generate captions for me. And you can see here, it, it's following my instructions of what I asked for. And I can pick one of these that I like that resonates with me. I always say with AI, make sure you ed edit. Make right. sure you read it and edit. Don't just take it as it is, even right. though this is great. Um, you know, if I I just have to click the little button, um, you know, the checkbox and say save caption, and it pulls it in here. Um, and you can see down here, it pulled it right in. And now I can, you know, add spaces. I can do, but I mean, like it's done for me. Um, I don't have to go into chat GPT. I don't have to go into Canva. I can manage everything in one place. And on top of that, uh, you can categorize. I categorize my posts so I know what, um, you know, is it a tip? Is it a promo is, you know, so I know what resonates with my audience, the reports will pull that out. Um, and then I can publish it. Now, in this account, I have more, I have a Facebook page, I have a Facebook group, and I have Instagram. But I can also go into um, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google, uh, Google Business, which is a social media platform, people don't see it as that, but it is. Um, YouTube, I can create shorts, I can create long form, um, Pinterest, TikTok, right? So you can go in and, um, you know, and I could save this content. And then all I would have to do is pop into my calendar, click on the graphic, drag it where I want it to go, release. It picks the optimal time. I don't even have to know it. So all that stuff, the questions I get asked, when should I post? How often should I post? What time should I post? What day should I post? This just handles it and you don't have to worry about it. Um, you can also communicate. The monitor allows me to communicate with people. So if somebody leaves me a message, I can like it and reply right in the platform. I don't have to go into Instagram and to Facebook and to LinkedIn and I'll, I can just handle it here. Um, I am going to get rid of all of my... <laughs> the, the only reason Phil is not jumping up and down and screaming is because he's paying attention. But as soon as 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 soon as we go off air, I'm going to be able to hear him all the way over here. And, and, I, and I'm going to tell you something. So this content library, this one that I created, this I actually have a YouTube video on how I actually did this. I used uh, I can upload and import content in here. So say you're, you have an admin who's creating content for you. You don't want to use AI, whatever. You can import content. You could also create, there's an auto import feature that allows you to import in, um, like say you have a Google Drive that mm -hmm. you put your photos in. 
you could just upload the photos in there and it'll automatically populate into the content library. There's, I, I don't want to get into the weeds with this because I could talk for hours on how to use this. The functionality is insane. And I will tell you. Insane. Insane. It, it's <laughs> insane. And when, when you look at the fact that I can go in and I can create, um, you know, like link any of these, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, personal LinkedIn profile and your business page, your company page, YouTube, Pinterest, Google Business, TikTok. Now, you all know we're the, um, the New York, Connecticut region of Master Networks. We're their social media agency. They have over 50, five zero social media accounts. 50 pages, you know, whether Facebook pages, Instagram, what have you. We publish for them uh, as easily as you, and it's one account. So Phil, if you have, you know, Phoenix National Network, maybe you have another business, maybe you, have, you can handle it all in here with one account. You don't have to pay for multiple accounts, which a lot of tools force you to do. You could also have as many people added in from your team. So say you want Paula to be in there. I wouldn't give it to Oscar, but if you want to, you can. <laughs> um, you, can, you, can yeah. you can add many people. No, I, I can't blame you for that. I get absolutely. I, I, feel, I, I get you. Guilty. Yeah, uh, actually, I'm teasing you, Oscar. You know I love you. There, there, there are a few people we might ban from. Uh... <laughs> this is why I love Ricky. He's the only one that makes me look good. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ricky. Oh my God. He is just, such, uh, is, he brightens the, he is just, he, you know, he, I get him. <laughs> yeah. We, we're, we're, uh, we're a family. We're family here. We, it's, it's functional, we're, but we're, we're dysfunctional <laughs> in a whole lot of ways, but we love each other. Like, yeah. uh, anything. Well, else. it makes working together that much easier, right? We absolutely. It's absolutely does. It absolutely does you know and then the, the the dinner get togethers doesn't hurt either oh no well, yeah we're gonna actually what you the know heck? i am not invited to dinner <laughs> Hello. you are now that's why i brought it up <laughs> oscar didn't invite you i wanted to invite you but oscar didn't invite i wanted to invite her first that's why i said <laughs> yeah we're going to be doing one in january we definitely would love for you to come we got we, we have okay. places we picked there's this great cuban restaurant right right off of the GW bridge on the Jersey side called Cuba with a K there's, oh. there's the Jamaican, the Jamaican place on, uh, on Marinick Avenue in white plains. Yes. Um, oh, the Island. Speaking of white plains, not mm -hmm. to digress, but I didn't tell you guys, I am now the CMO of LinkedIn local Hudson Valley. Oh. So if, uh, oh. if this was started by, I don't know if you're familiar with Pasquale Palumbo. He yes. actually is Jeopardy champion. Jeopardy um, champion. <laughs> but um, he had started this uh, pre-pandemic and um, the person who was working with um, had to, um, I would uh, I was going to say had to leave the country, but that sounds really bad. So I'm going to say <laughs> that she um she is in Costa Rica relocated <laughs> she, you know and um, in a non extradition country <laughs> yeah. so um i stepped in we've got a new website um it's uh linkedin local hv and we're meeting um in white plains the sams of gedney way they are a sponsor lovely lovely location if you've ever been there it's a great venue and um that's going to be the well it's Wednesday after Thanksgiving, um, six to eight. So I'd love both of you to be there. All of our listeners who are listening today, please come and, you know, and join. It's pulling, look, you have to, you know, here's, I always drop a tip, right? You've got to pull people off platform, right? Whether it's into your email list or whether it's in person, whether it's putting, going into the DMs and getting them on your calendar, the platforms are great. It's a starting point. It's not the be all and the end all. And you, you have to make a connection if you want to do business with them. We always say the, it's sort of like the intros come in the, the feed, but the dollars are made in the DMs. 
Hmm. Awesome. awesome. So what what is that? Where is this place again? Sam's of Gedney Way in White Plains. So we and are going, are. we're going to do the big reveal now. Oh, dun, dun, we want dun. you to talk about this. This right here. Oh yeah. And there's a there's a link that I gave you if it total transparency, it is an affiliate link. I would love it if you used it, but uh -huh. more importantly, use this tool. It's insane. Yes. Yeah, so tell, tell them a little bit about what this tool does. Oh my gosh. So this is called Opus Clip. And uh -huh. what it does is it can take your long form video. Like we could take this video. Uh -huh. And when Maggie dropped a little tidbit of information, right, we could go into a video editor and we can clip it out and we can add the, you know, the text, you know, this, the closed caption to it, or you can upload the video into this program and it will create clips for you with captions and do it automatically and save you hours and hours and hours of time. This AI built into it. Um, they have added many features to it. There's a free version, you know, it's freemium, right? It's free version that gives you limited access, um, but there's also um, a paid version that gives you faster response time. Um, so you could do the free version. It may take an hour for them to respond back to you with your 10 videos they created, or you can pay for it and, and the time is cut down. So um, those are it's just insane when you think about it. Who has time or let's talk knowledge. We talked about tech. Who has the time or the knowledge to do this? Right? It, it's even putting in like e-roll and stuff like that. It puts the captions. At it When you look at it and you start if you decide to use it and start looking, you're going to realize, oh my gosh, I've seen this style on somebody else's um, Instagram feed or in, as an Instagram reel. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty, it's pretty powerful. Um, look, is it perfect? Nope, it is not perfect. But I will tell you this: it's a lot better than uh, and faster. Like you're talking about, it, one click. I'm done. I walk away. Say it takes an hour for it to generate the content. I am now doing other stuff. I'm not sitting there editing for an hour. Um, and then I can go in. I can pick the ones I like. I can discard the ones I don't. And I'm, I'm off to the races. Um, there's features. Um, again, it, it's I don't want to get too much in the weeds, but there's a lot of features to it that allow you to, um, you know, say, okay, I want to, I want this, I want that, you know, clip, clips that I really want to focus in on. Or you can just upload it and have it do all the work and it will figure out what makes sense because it understands, right? It's a computer, but it understands that this is a tip or this is a good piece to, you know, sometimes it's what you say. Like you say, now it's really important that you remember, mm -hmm. no, okay, this is really important. So what follows is probably going to be a clip. Like, I'm not saying it's intuitive. It's technology, right? It they've programmed it to know to know better. But it learns, and it also gets better minute by minute. So, right, right. And um, you know, a, a lot of what I'm seeing right now with the, you know we, we're being almost. I, I hate to use the word forced, but we feel pressure. A lot of my clients feel pressure to be on social media to do things, and my thing is look. If I can per take one of my YouTube videos, because you can put the YouTube link in, you can upload it. You, there's a tons tons of ways to get the video in there. But if I can take a YouTube video and repurpose little pieces of my content, like that's great. Think about this workflow. You create a blog post. And in the blog post, you share some tidbits, right? You're going to take that blog post and you're going to create a video and you're going to publish it on YouTube, right? You're gonna talk through it. Now I've got that YouTube video, I can now take that YouTube video and I can have it create snips for me and then I can take painless posting and upload it and I can have the AI do it for me. It, it also does uh, um, 
it does the closed caption okay, for you. So you have to get, that. Say that again. You're going to have to read what? Say that one more time. <laughs> okay. So. Step eight. Step one. <laughs> create your blog post. Now you could start it with a chat GPT. Great tool, right? Create your blog post. Um, then you're going to take the contents of that blog post. You're going to record a video. You're going to put it on your YouTube channel, right? Mm -hmm. You then take that long form video and you're going to put it into Opus Clip. Right. And Opus Clip is then going to break it up into, let's say, 10 social media reels or mm -hmm. shorts or what, whatever, right? The video content. Mm -hmm. Those short form video content mm -hmm. can now be uploaded into painless posting. You can use painless postings AI to come up with a caption for you. And then you can schedule it on TikTok and reels and YouTube shorts because we cover all three of those platforms, or you can make it into a story as well. Cause stories, you can do that. So, um, it's fun. <laughs> but think about, I know that sounds complicated, right? No, no, no. I am just you know? here, here, let, let me let here's two things. I don't do this. So for me, it's like, hey, this is this sounds really, really good. Phil has been doing this for three years. He's basically been washing a battleship with a toothbrush. And now <laughs> <laughs> that is a great analogy. <laughs> great analogy. That is like exceptional analogy. Oh my God. Like, I got it. I got it. It's almost oh my God. I gotta go over there. <laughs> I missed the spot. Darn. Oh, now man. Maggie just came by with one of those uh, planes they use to put out uh, the put out fires. It was like, thank you. I'm done. Because <laughs> you think about it, look like I have, uh, you know, there are tools that I use that help me create content for my clients faster. It then look, it saves me time, which and it saves me money. It saves my staff time. Look, I got to keep my staff happy. We all know that um, when when team members don't have the tools to do their jobs easily, they yes. walk. Yes. And we need to make sure, we need to make sure that our team is happy. Paula, if you're listening, I'm wonderful to work with. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> That's Phil's Paula. I, she will never leave you. No, that do not um, oh, but no, I have, like, I, I have, a, no, no. <laughs> but I have a great, like, I have a great team. My, you know, I have a business manager, Shirley. She is my rock. She comes up with great ideas. Like when you have a team of people we that inspire each other to do, you know, to learn, like we're always sending each other, Hey, I just saw this. Isn't this great? We should do this. You know, like we're always keeping in to what is trending, what's coming up, new ways of doing things. Like uh, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see there's this really, really cool feature that LinkedIn, I'm sorry, that uh, Canva has. Like right now I'm in the middle of doing a, um, a Canva series and I'm teaching people how to use Canva, all these little shortcuts and tips that, you know, people can figure out on their own and take hours to do it, or they can listen to me and shortcut their time into minutes. Right. They, um, and, and it's a cool tool that allows you to create, you ever see the, the creating a drawing, like the, like it takes a picture and creates a drawing. It does it in a second, like literally one second. And, and you have this amazing tool that allows you to, um, uh, do things that are thumb stopping, right? Like we want to stop the scroll. So how do we do that as a small business? You can't compete with these people who have, you know, I was watching a, an Instagram, um, a really amazing, don't get me wrong, amazing Instagram um, social media uh, person, right? Follow her. I watch her. I learn from her. And she was sharing a behind the scenes of how she creates her clips. She's got a, she's got a hairstylist, a makeup artist. She's got a professional videographer, a photographer. She's got a, a screen. She's got the light. I can't compete with that. 
<laughs> what small business can right you know? right on absolutely <laughs> that's but guess what i have tools that she uses without i don't have to have the big fancy lights and the thing i have you know i have my little you know i've got my little tools that i you know i put my phone on this right and then i record so it's not shaky like i get little things look amazon great place to buy stuff <laughs> And, you you know, just advertised I, like three places just now. <laughs> I did. Um, you know, but it, it gets, it, look, we, it, here's the thing. That's why I created that page on my site. That's the toolkit. Because um, that's one of the places where I share the tools that I use. I'm, I'll put that in the, oh, I think I'm putting that in the private chat. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's put cool. that in the big, the big guy. Um, and then there is... Um, and then I'll share it like, you know what, okay. leave it, leave it in the private chat. Anybody who wants these links has to call you and say, Hey, what is that link that you put in the private chat for just the guys? Yep. <laughs> and, and that's where you can go and get a lot of information for your, you know, like, look, we, we struggle. We all need to help each other and keeping things a secret isn't the best way to go. Amen to that. Um, I love you know, that. I'm not I saying give away your I love, farm. I love sharing content too. I think yeah. it's I think it's important for us to be more fluent like that because it helps everybody to grow. You know, everybody can get there. Yeah, there's rising room, tide. Room at the top. I think it's a it's a lie to say, well, there's no room at the top for everybody. There's room at the top for everybody. That's all the room is. That's yeah. <laughs> as long as you're willing to climb and you want you have the desire to make it you will and that's where most people fail is that they quit either you quit halfway there or you quit when you almost get there but you know the moment you quit is the moment you realize that you know you skipped out on your own thing so right, right. Uh, <laughs> not to get all philosophical about it but right, read, read the book read the book acres of diamonds <laughs> acres of diamonds acres well, of diamonds no, I'll give you a little right. synopsis. Is a, a guy's looking for he hears there's diamonds in the in the area. He sells his farm. He goes, you know, everywhere, can't find anything. The guy that bought his land sees something shiny in the little brook, and it's a diamond, and they find it's one of the biggest diamond mines in the world that the guy was sitting on, but he did not know it. No. <laughs> Kept looking everywhere else. What? And, you know, on um, book recommendations, one of my favorites is um, The Go-Giver. And because it speaks to me, my you know, my parents raised me. You help people. Like, there is no, you know, this is what you do. This is your purpose is to help other people. That's how we were raised. Um, and it that spoke to me. So the, first of all, it's written in a storytelling fashion that is so easy to understand and beautifully written. Like, you know where it's going, right? Like you read it and you just want to know what happens next, right? And that's how your social media should, post should be, by the way. Always get them to want more, right? Always give them content. And I think that that's where, it, you know, all my networking, my stuff, the things that I do, like, it, you know, teaching and, and they're like, well, Maggie, you could charge for that. Why don't you do that? I said, because I'm, first of all, if I keep charging for every single thing I do, mm -hmm. it, it, you, one of the best ways to get people to buy into, like say my, my program that I, I did a social media master plan. I have a course that I basically teach my process mm -hmm. to people so they could do it. Um, I gave away a free class on chat GPT. And then shared, look, this, you, if you want to learn more, if you want to really manage your social media, this is a course that I offer. And it's not, you know, look, I've been to a lot of courses and they want to charge you $5,000, $10,000, $12,000. A small business can't, that's their, that's like five <laughs> years of their marketing budget. That's it. I, I can't. So look, Good things have happened to me by following this, you know, what my parents have taught me, where you give of yourself mm -hmm. and you continue to make the world a better place. And, you know, it, some people use what comes around goes around in a negative manner, but it can be positive, right? Whether it's karma, energy, a higher power, 
whatever you believe in, there's a working force out there. There's a life force out there that um, you, it, it, even if it's just yourself and you just believe in you, when you exude positive energy mm -hmm. and a helpful attitude, you will draw like-minded people to you. You will be a magnet for these people. And that's how I live my life. And I, and that's why I'm so happy. Like I have, look, I've got stuff going on in my life. Let me tell you, <laughs> out of control. Yeah. But that being but. said, I'm fulfilled. Um, mm. You know, I'm, I'm doing what I think is the best thing for me. I'll, I, and I love to like be on calls with you guys and share some tips and get, you know, help people get over this challenge, right? Of how do I create content when I've got to run a business? You know, it's, it's, it's not easy. So uh, before we close out, because our time is up, Maggie, you got to share with folks what they need to do to reach out to you, get in touch with you. What are some of the ways they can do that? So there's my email, Maggie at Master at Media. I encourage you all to follow me on social media on all of the platforms at Master at Media. You will find me online, masteratmedia.com. But I've got to tell you, if you go to my secret link that I am sharing with you here, talkwithmaggie.com, you can schedule a call with me. And I always give free tips and advice. I always find out about what you're doing, how you're doing it, how I can help you. So when you walk away from a meeting that's, by the way, that first initial meeting, there is no charge, you are taking away something of value that you can apply to your business today. And awesome. I, know, I know this is one of the few times that Phil wants to end this as soon as possible because I know his brain has been going. I was just watching his face. He's going to rewatch this three times in a row because every time you say a word, I see him going, mm -hmm, we are yeah. <laughs> I miss something. So it's for the next three hours, I'm not calling you. I know. No, no, no. I'm turning my phone off. I'm, I'm isolating. Uh, I'm going to move to Budapest and just sit in a mountain somewhere and meditate on this. And yeah, as long you as it has Wi-Fi, then you're good. And and you know who to call, Phil. This, I know who to this call. This is the thing, right? Why do you have to reinvent the week? That's like that Thursday, uh, Wednesday night when I was working on my content. I'm like, there's got to be a better way. So I found the way. I do it for my clients. And then I teach it. So, like, why are you struggling trying to figure this out for yourself? You don't have to. You know and, what? You know what, you know what our, our, our motto here. You know, when you win, we win. But one of the things we've always said, probably on every show, save yourself time, money, and heartache. Save Hire your the time, expert. Money, yes, yes. If you find Absolutely. a bomb in your yard, don't try to defuse it yourself. <laughs> Good safety tip, Oscar. I'll make sure if I find a bomb in my yard. Call that expert in. <laughs> I don't know who to call. So like, since you brought this up. I know, right? I'm, I'm just right here going, yeah, I don't, I know the typical American is going to find a bomb. I, I'm just going to call 911. And <laughs> yeah, you know. And, and here's, the th here's the thing about that statement is like, how are you going to find this thing in your yard? You know, it's, it's, it's big and round. It's got a fuse. You know? <laughs> Is the dog going to pick it up and come to you and they're like, hey, I don't have dogs. Cats you don't fetch. You flashbacks of like, you know, the uh, Wiley Coyote thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, you know, I'm, I'm pissed because no, well, yeah. no one ever gave him credit for his artwork. He's an incredible <laughs> artist. I mean, <laughs> well, guys, well, thank you so much for watching Focus on You with Bill and Oscar. We had a great time with Maggie. And again, uh, you can find her at uh, masteritmedia.com, masteritmedia.com. Don't go anywhere else. Just go to masteritmedia.com and check it out. Yeah. Thank you, you again, Maggie. this handy dandy code that'll bring you right there. Absolutely, it was up the whole time. Just scan <laughs> that uh, QR code and you should be great. But we'll see you again next week. Uh, we have a great guest for you. Take care, bye-bye.